first start off looking at the prints, looking at what we need to locate, looking at how many marks are on the ground. Does that match with what should be on the ground? And then at that point, once you see you, know, you have the marks or not, start hooking up, verifying all the paint, correcting as needed. An auditor will actually take the exact same steps that the locator should have taken to complete the locate. Uh, as we did out here today, uh, our auditor came out, reviewed the scope of the locate request to determine the extent of excavation. Uh, and at that point, he should be following the same processes and procedures as the locator did. And in this case, went ahead and hooked up at the electric uh, transformer. Uh, and at that point, again, making the complete sweep to identify all utilities in the area. And then he should be following those out and monitoring those marks to check for accuracy uh, and then ensuring those are marked complete and accurately all the way through the scope of the locate request. Um, where he does find deviations, he will go ahead and make those corrections at that time. Uh, but essentially, we're looking for not only the accuracy of marks, but we also want to challenge all of our auditors to double check to make sure that the locator followed all those processes and procedures. Did we hook up at the right spot? Um, what is that error rate that we're finding on those locates? And can we narrow that? What opportunities can we feed back to the locator in order to make those improvements? Each of our locators, we want to touch their work at least once a month, uh, but we do maintain what we call a scorecard with our locators. Uh, we will track their event history, and obviously we're going to be targeting those folks that might be somewhat on the lower spectrum there. They might get some increased uh, visual attention for those audits, but for the most part, we have both an audit, pro uh, random audit program, and then there'll be those targeted audits uh, that happen on the folks that seem to be struggling a little more. We will try to find coaching opportunities in order to improve folks because we don't want someone working out of the system. We'd rather bring them up through the system. So those opportunities of improvement, uh, we want to try and make a positive experience. Uh, we want that correction. It's painful uh, to have to bring someone else in to replace someone, so we'd rather keep the folks we have and make them better. Uh, no substitute for experience. So we definitely want to make sure we bring them up, uh, not work them out whenever possible. instances where we have either a utility or we'll have a third-party contractor that's conducting audits on our work. Um, we'll work with those folks when they find deviations. Uh, we'll meet them at the site and we can determine what corrections need to be made so they see our interaction on those corrections. Uh, we also do have some reporting mechanisms in place where either on a weekly or a monthly basis we'll feed that data back to the customer so they can see what we're finding and then we can share with them any trend data that we have. Uh, so for excavator tickets, we do have what we call high-risk excavations, and maybe not so much as excavator-centric as it is excavation-centric. So things like fence jobs, which are going to be high-risk tickets where there's a high incidence of damages, those would be the kind of locates that we might want to look at more so than maybe, say, uh, a drop installation. So where we do have that higher incidence of potential damage, those are some of the audits that we will be targeting to try and avoid those damages. The quality audit process really is a twofold event for us, meaning uh, we want to make sure that it's not just the accuracy, it's challenging those auditors uh, and some of those folks, be they dedicated, be they supervisor, uh, making sure that those folks really follow all the processes and procedures, not simply ensuring the marks are on the ground. Uh, because missing one of those steps through the process could lead later on to locate damage, and we want to prevent that on the front end by ensuring they follow all those process steps. That one is 100% correct.